everybody. I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Balloon Pop. From Water Pellet. Um, it plays two to four players and has a box play time of around 30 minutes. So, uh, Water Pellet was kind enough to give us this fine game, but not in exchange for this video. We just like to bring this video because we like to show you all, all the games. games. So, let's see how this plays. Yes. So, in Balloon Pop, most of you have played games where you've got these little Tetris pieces and they they come down and then they stop at the bottom of your screen and then if you get a whole row, then they're all going to blank out. This is not quite like that. And one interesting thing is all of these are balloons, so they rise. They don't fall. So, uh, you are going to uh, place out from the draw bag all of these nice round but not round balloons <laughs> so yes they're square and they look like gummies yes they're not round but this is what they have so um we put out a number of uh four cube groupings based on the number of players so two players two sets of cubes each of us has cards with values from 1 to 10. Also on these cards are orientations that the cubes must stay in. For example, if I play this 10, then whatever set of cubes that I draft must go in a vertical orientation. I cannot place them horizontally, even if I want to. Some other cards will allow you to place them horizontally. Some will give you a choice and some will even let you pop one balloon on the end or one balloon from the middle, depending on what you've played. So, Steph and I are each going to select a card. We're going to reveal it at the same time. And the highest one will get to draft first. If it is a tie, then whoever has the first player marker will get priority. So, and that's going to be you. And then it's got this nice little grouping here because what you're wanting to do is you're trying to match groups of colors. So if you have a group of four or more of the same color, then all of those balloons will pop and you will earn a number of points equal to that many cubes minus two. So if you pop a the minimum, which is a four cube group, you will, you will get two points. If you pop a six cube group, you will get four points. If you pop a seven cube group, you will get five points. Good luck trying that because it's super hard to do that. Do it. Now, one of the things that is, is interesting to note is that if you have a set of cubes here and you bring in another set of cubes here, then these cubes, cubes are going to rise until it hits something and then these keep going until it fills up all the way to the top. And this is how it would, if I had drafted each of these in successive turns, this is how this batch would go. I would score this batch of cubes and then these cubes would float to the top and then we would do that again and again. So Steph really likes these cubes, so I'm going to make sure she keeps them in this orientation. Um, this bloody says balloon tris. Balloon tris, yes, that's what this is. <laughs> there are also cubes with a little glowy thing on it, like this. If you collect cubes that have this little uh, this little sparkle on it, it doesn't matter what color they are. But if you can get a group of two or more of these, you will score points for these as well. Uh, a group of Two of these will give you one point. So it's however many of these you get together minus one. If you have a group of five of these sparklies together, you're going to get four points. So um, now you will have to take all of the cubes of a color or of the little sparklies. So it matters what order you do these things in because whatever's left will rise to the top and then you pop another batch and then those rise to the top and you pop another batch and those will rise to the top until you can't pop anymore. So 
Um, we have 10 cards here. We're only going to play eight rounds. So two of these cards will remain unused. Um, at the end of the game, you want to make sure to have columns and rows open as much as possible. These three rows, if you can get them open, they're going to be worth three points apiece. These six columns, if you can get them open, they're going to be worth one point apiece. Um, I think that should be it. If you can't remember how much each of the sets are worth, it's right there at the bottom of your uh, playing board. Not only does it show your playing piece, which for me is a little fishy, four groups of colors, minus two is how many points you get, and the little sparklies minus one is how many points you get. And that is pretty much it. Did I, oh, I did not mention the white cubes. These are wild color cubes. Uh, they can match any color. However, they must be used. If you can use them, you must use them. So if you've got a set, if you have managed to collect all five of these blue cubes together, uh, four of these blue cubes plus a white, you must score them as a group of five blue cubes. But why wouldn't you yeah, want you to? You can't choose to wait and hold out for more blue. That's correct. Or let that white stay and then it connect to some other reds together and oh then you score all the reds can't do yeah, that yeah must score if it can score that's correct true 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 true, true. i see i'm i'm the number one what you got all right i took a three you took a nine because i knew you would so take your things because you know you i know you want it I i'm did. gonna kill this blue because hey you're gonna take blue so I might as well get what? rid of that. I popped it. See? Pop. This lets me pop one cube on either end, not both. Notice that it's a little one pin here, not two pins. And then whatever's remaining, I can let float. See the long way or the long way? Is it? The long way or the wrong way? <laughs> I'm going to do it this way. All right. I did open predictions for those in chat who would like to vote. And balloon blocks, ball locks, balloons, balloon, <laughs> bla la la. Oh, look at the sparklies! Look, we're already one eighth done. No, it's a very fast game. Oh, and we rotate this. Thank you. I'll okay. take that. Yeah, this is mine. No. Oh, look at that. How about it. How about that? How about I that? Mean... How about that? How about that? <clears throat> I don't know about that. No. I'll do this. We got it. Seems your public knowledge, by the way. Thought you might take that. Yep. Who did it? Who did it? I need you to pull out. A lot of green. More blue. Four green. Oh. That's what I want. I know what you want. But you're not going to get it. Wait, if you pop one from the middle, do you still have the space or do they... Pop one from the middle. Yeah, and you've moved you together. Move. No. They all move together. Blah, so bad. The. The. Bad do. That's so bad do. Well. Come here, bro. Just know how to make this work. All right. Well, I'm going to 
gonna pick. I'll pick this. Plus. Wait for how long? Yeah, make her use it. Whoa. Maybe I don't want to pop these now. All of my cards together is about as much as one of your cards. I'm going to do that. I get two points. Good job, you. Pop in the blue. Uh oh, this is not a problem. No, it's not. But everything's going to be That's cool, not a problem right? at all. Why would it be a problem? I need very specific. You're the first E. McPherson with the crown. What's this? This is it don't matter what I take. Let's see. This is I don't care what I take because it's going to be great anyway. Maybe. something. Yes, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for five. Whoa. Oh, yeah, push here, push here. Push here, push here. Wow. Four rounds gone. Four rounds to go. A bloom. You like purple and yellow? I mean, blue and yellow? Mm. How about red and green? First, are you first? What you mean? You get the tiebreaker? Yep. Really? No. Wrong choice. Yep. I got to do it this way so I can let that float up and in and there and there. Yes. 
Oh no, I'm gonna get a double pop. That's not great. I'm gonna get that one. <laughs> hmm? That is a four. That's four points. That's also four points. I have to do it. Pop these. This is worth a whopping two points. And I pop these for a whopping two points. Whoa. Set yourself up for some red success. I don't know. There are only two reds have been missing out of the taken out of the game because we're both sitting on a stockpile of it. That is five rounds? Yeah. That's not good red. It's got some blue in there. And green. All right, how about more? Good. That's Much time. Oh, I had this, didn't I? It's bad. You want that. You really want that. I want both of them, so it didn't really matter. I go here, I've got a score. I go here, I got a score. I know. I don't want to score it. No. It's not close enough to the end yet. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Good stuff for you because it's got blue. Dang it. Whoa, three bursties? Three bursties. Four bursties. Holy mackerel. Mm-hmm. Wow. Cute. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I will. Thanks. Sophia, it's good. Did you get enough sleep? No. Still tired. <laughs> How's it going?
There's your 10. That's why I didn't do it. Yep. I got to take that. Yeah. It's four points. What does burst do? I've had games. Yeah. So, balloon pop is a roll and write from Tasty Inventory. This is a, that had an exclamation point on it. This one is a new game with no exclamation point. We played it at Gathering, but uh, I think it's only just coming out in the States right about now. What? Wow. How many points you got? Fifteen. We can just have to wait and try to hit it big. Hit it big. I can score some points now, or I can just not. How about we not? <laughs> to put it like this, I ruin. I ruin the reds. Yeah, that's the problem. You could put it on the long way, the vertical way. Yeah, but for what? I don't know. Well, that. I'm ruining any chance of getting any of these threes, and you're already well on your way to getting it, and I just I can't stop it. I think that's probably just gonna be my best play. All right, I got a group of five and a group of four. This is me dying. These are not good. At least I will get a blue. So there is that, I guess. I don't see anything else. I'm going to ante up a negative three. He's like, I choose not to take balloon pop. No, I'm not taking balloon pop. <laughs> I don't think that's an option. Yeah, I'm not either. I don't get much. Four. Four. You break ties. Yay. I'm going to pop this and this goes here. Five points. Two points. That's all you get. You can get three, six, seven, eight, nine points. Plus nine. Mm, that's different. All right, that's it. All right, Steph gets what? Uh, 26. 
Michael gets 19. Good game. I don't know how you get 50. The spark track goes all the way to 50. Whew. Uh, lucky pulls, I guess. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Michael, I uh, got crushed by you earlier today. Yeah, I did. I got, I got stomped on. I didn't know balloon games could be so vicious. Yeah. I like the drafting. I like the um, tetris -y kind of play. These cubes are amazing. So it's it's a nice quality game. Yeah. It's I got to say, though. It's airy. I did have to ditch all of the baggies that came with the game because... They left like a... They leave... They leave a film a or weird something. film or residue. Um, that said, you don't need those baggies because everything just goes right into the cloth bag. Yeah. So it's cute. It's it's definitely easy, which is nice. You could just pull out and play. It didn't take us very long to play no. that. And no. teach it was less than the 30 minutes. So. Yeah. yeah. So nice game. We like yeah. it. Yeah. So be sure to check out Balloon Pop from Lotta Pellet. And if you enjoyed this uh, teach and playthrough, then, hey, come check out the rest of our videos. And, even better yet, join us on the chat on twitch.tv slash boardgamersteps every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we play three games or more every single stream. And uh, so come uh, join us on Twitch, where we play all, all the games. games. Yeah, it's fun. So for those on Twitch, we will be right back. Woo!